we will quickly make an app like this. It has a sample text and whenever we change, we choose the values of different colors, the color should change. Whenever we change the size of the text, it should change. And whenever we choose the style, different styles, it should work. And it should toggle between the states, right? So this is what we are going to do. Let's quickly see it. Let's quickly add all the controls that we want here. Okay, so we have to make three things. Um, the color of the font, the size of the font, and the style of the font. Style means uh, bold, italic, underline, whatever. So for color, let's, let's first of all implement color. And for color, let's choose radio buttons. And it's always a good practice to put all the radio buttons in a group box. Otherwise, you will all only be able to make uh, one set of radio buttons if you don't put them in a group box on one form. It's a good practice to name them in a meaningful way and it's a very good practice to uh, always start with the name of the control, the short form of the name of the control, so it, it's easier to remember later on. Okay, the next thing is uh, size, so let's use combo box for that. We want to add all the sizes that our user can choose. So basically, it's going to run like this and the list of the sizes will appear here once you click it, right? So to edit all the items, we can do this. We have to add them one by one in new lines. So let's say 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. I think that the, these are enough. Save them. Uh, we also have to change the name, the variable name of this combo box. So let's see, CB a size, that's good cb size and the third thing was the the style so for styles let's say we choose checkboxes because you know checkbox you can choose multiple checkboxes at one time So that's it. We also need a label whose text we will actually be changing. By the way, you can add um, a label, uh, a button, anything you want here. If you want to change the color or font from properties, you can definitely do that from here like this. I've just, I've just done it. And if you want to change the color, we can also do that. That It's the four color property of the control. So you can always change it to whatever you want. So let's say we want it, let's say red, right? Let's not put it red. Let's put something other than these three and let's use purple. So you can do that. But what we are learning here is that how to do it while the code is running, not through the properties, but through the code. So we have to see that. So this is done. Let's move towards the code. Once we run this app, it's going to appear like this. You can choose only one single one of them and you can choose all of these ones you want. You can see the list of sizes appearing here as well, but it's not working right, right now because we haven't written the code. So let's quickly write the code behind these all these controls. We wanna write the functionality behind this red redo button. And what we want is whenever this is pressed, the color of this text is changed to uh, red, 
right and so for that just double click on this radio button whenever you do that uh, an event handler is created with the name checked changed so this function will run whenever the radio button this red radio button is selected the name of my label is l sample text the label whose color you want to change so i'm going to write label, uh, l sample text dot for color equals to color dot red that's it it's as simple as that that's it and now let's do it for the two other labels as well sorry two other radio buttons as well that's it it should run see it's working that's good the next thing that we want is whatever size we choose from this combo box the size of this text should change to should, uh, should change to that so for that just double click it whenever any value from the combo box is selected this event handler selected index changed will be called right so first of all we need to extract the integer value of the number the size which is selected so for that we have to write int x convert dot to int 32 and then we have to get the item selected in the combo box so cv size dot selected item dot to string that's it here we have whatever value is selected and then we are gonna change the font of our label the name of the label is l sample text dot font equals to new font font class always has three values so when you call the constructor you have to pass three values the first one is always for the name of the font that means um time time new or omens or Arial or, or Comic Sans MS or any other uh, name of the font. And the second one is always the size. And the third one is always the style, which means bold, italic, regular, whatever. And the size obviously means, uh, so let's say you want to change the size to 12. You are going to keep the other things same as before. Name and, and style. But you will write, for example, you want to change it to 12, you will write 12 here. In the case of style. So we don't want to change the name of the font. So we are going to write it as it is. But we want to change the size of the font. So we're going to write X here because that's the new size which we just extracted here. And then the third value is of the style. So the style we want right now is same as before we're not changing that right now font dot style that's it so that's the whole code it's gonna change the size of your text let's see that's it it's working good the next thing we want is change the style of the text so the same as radio buttons for check buttons you have to just double click on them so once i double click the bold check button this event handler will be created and every time this checkbox is checked or unchecked this function will be called right now again let's write the name of our label dot font since we want to change the font equals to new font now again since we are changing we want to change the style the first two values of the, this constructor of font will remain the same so the first one was the name of the font right so sample text dot font dot name that's the first one it's going to stay the same whatever was chosen for and the size is again going to stay the same so l sample text dot font dot size that's it it's going to stay the same the thing that will change is the last one the style for that, you're going to write uh, L sample text dot font dot 
style and then we're going to write hat operator and font style dot bold font style dot bold what, what this is going to do is it's going to toggle between the two states bold and regular so this property will get the value of the, the style of the label so if it is already bold it's going to make it regular and if it is regular it's going to make it bold so that that's what we are doing here it's going to toggle between these two states let's check it and then we will implement it for the other two so yes it's it, it's bold now and in, and again when i click it it's regular let's do it for the other two That's it, that's our app. All the functionality is done, it's working. Values are changing, bold, unbold, italic, underline, and we can do all of these at the same time as well. Whatever, whichever one we want. So that's it, that, that's your app. Let me know if you have any other questions.